Hey guys, Brian Hilliard here, author of the best-selling book, Networking Like a Pro, and creator of the popular program, How to Overcome the Overwhelm and Get Out of Your Own Way. And as you can see, I'm on a WALK with the DOG this morning, and I want to talk a little bit about overcoming difficult times. I want to talk about resiliency and overcoming difficult times, getting past adversity. Um, this is something that I have talked about in the past, and this is actually something where right now I am doing one of the things that I recommend others do. And as you guys know, I feel that success is a lot less about learning something new that works, um, and instead it's about unlearning something old that doesn't, right? And for me, when you talk about being able to be more successful, you see a lot of people, they are going out and they're doing all these things, right? They're push, 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 go, 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 doing all of these different things. And they still, for whatever reason, aren't able to be able to get the level of success that they want. And part of it, in, in my mind, is because because they're also doing some things, they're inadvertently doing some things that is actually holding them back. I call this having your foot on the brake and the gas at the same time. And for a lot of people, that explains, at least in my mind, why some people are more successful than others, right? Why is it that when you have somebody who's going out and doing all these things, maybe reading books and going to conferences, maybe looking at folks like myself, they are getting a certain level of success, yet others who are doing the exact same thing with the exact same skill set, work ethic, and training, aren't necessarily getting the results that they want to be able to see. So part of what success looks like is being able to engage in activities, successful people engage in activities that move them forward, but they're also successful in not doing some things or to put it a different way, they know how to get out of their own way. All right, which brings us to our conversation here today. Now, we talked about resiliency, right? We talked about what you can do to be able to be more resilient and overcome adversity because that's the other thing. Success is not a straight line endeavor, right? And for a lot of times, what happens is, I know I was in this uh, boat for a while. Like, if something didn't go my way, I would be like, oh, you know, and I would just be like, OMG, and just kind of like, just not be that overly resilient. I mean, it wasn't like I was soft, but I just... I had a tendency to just be like, oh, and just kind of, I don't know, get into a little bit of a funk for a, for a little while and, and not move forward. Now, what I have found in terms of becoming more resilient, at least for me, is being able to engage in a morning routine. Uh, that's what I'm doing actually right now. It is in the morning time. I'm walking the dog. My morning routine usually entails like a little 15 minute, Ben Greenfield calls it the 15 minute fat burn. So I do a little 15 minute walk in the morning. Um, I'll do, I'll jump into some scripture when I get back. Uh, I might do some meditation as well. Um, you know, these are just different things that kind of set me up for the day. And you're like, well, how does that help you be more resilient? That's a good question. It's actually the point I just made. It's because it sets the foundation foundation for my day. See, a lot of people, what they do is they get up and they run and they're pushing and they're going and that's not really the best way to be able to set yourself up for a, you know, I, I call it like creating a strong foundation, right? Like if you were to build a house, you would want to create a strong foundation. I mean, that just makes sense. And it's the same thing when you're talking about your day. You want to have a foundation that sets you up for that success. And I feel that when I do it this way, I walk, I get into the word, I, um, what else did I say? Oh, meditation, right? Um, when I do these, I stretch out. When I do these kinds of things, what I find is that I have a stronger foundation, which makes me more resilient, which makes me and allows me to be more successful, right? And if you're not doing a morning routine, I would, I would, I would highly recommend, even if it's only five minutes, you know, maybe you decide to get into the word if, if, if that's your deal, or maybe you decide that you want to do some meditation if that's your deal, or maybe you decide that you want to do, you know, a quick walk if that's your deal totally fine make yourself that time and i am telling you it will absolutely work out as a matter of fact if you also have a little bit of time jump on over to our free facebook community we've got a free community you can go to the fast track success club.com okay that's t-h-e f-a-s-t t-r-a-c-k success club Dot com. We've got a really vibrant community of like-minded individuals and entrepreneurs who are learning different things, what they need to be able to do and don't do to be able to accelerate their results and get out of their own way. So if that sounds like something of interest to you, feel free to do that. And as always, feel free to like, share, or comment below. But in the meantime, my name is Brian Hilliard saying so long, take care, and thanks so much for your time.